proposed to my girlfriend, but she admitted after a night out that she cheated on me. About a month ago, I told her parents and mine that I wanted to marry her. And yesterday, my girlfriend said that she was going to a karaoke event with her female friends. She returned clearly drunk and collapsed in bed. She woke up in tears and apologized. After she calmed down, she explained that she was drunk and decided to have sexy time with another man and regretted doing it. She said she was drunk and she was completely blanked on the fact that she was in a relationship with me. If I break up with her, I don't think I can ever love anyone like her again. Well, you should break up with her. So she get drunk again is like, no, 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 no. That's a problem she got to fix with the next guy, not you. Now, what you need to do is go ahead and clear that. I don't think I can love anybody like her again out your head. That don't make no sense. That's that that women talk when they say all men are dogs. So now you say all women are dogs. You, what you should do is start looking as women as if they're humans and not like floating angels. Like they won't cheat on you. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, imagine the love of your life gets you drunk, gets them cheeks clapped by another man. And she comes home and tells you, and you're trying to figure out what your next step should be. <sighs> that's a tough one, man. <laughs> for a lot of y'all, not me. I already know what I would do, but that's a tough one for a lot of dudes, man. Because, like my man says, if you put women on a pedestal and you believe that they're incapable of cheating, then you're cheating yourself, right? <laughs> if you put women on a pedestal and believe that women aren't capable of cheating. You're lying to yourself. I know a lot of guys that probably have young ladies that cheated on them, right? But one thing that I do notice, like my man said in the video, which is kind of interesting, is this seems to shape the way that guys think about women for the rest of their lives. It's crazy, because he did say it. That's the type of shit women would say, that all men are dogs when they get cheated on. So a guy saying that all women are dogs too, because, oh, she cheated on me and I could never love a woman the exact same way. That shit kind of crazy, right? That truly, truly is some crazy shit to say. Because, come on now. Come on now, we, we, we can't think like that. That's kind of like some emotional, emotional shit coming through you, coming, coming, coming out your mouth, right? Cause I understand that as a man, yes, heartbreak is crazy. I do believe that all men have probably experienced some heartbreak of some kind in the past. And if you are the one that's gonna comment, talk about not me, bro, not me, Dr. Mike, I ain't never experienced no heartbreak, man. I'm the one breaker hearts then this ain't for you, player. That's fine, right? If you're the one breaking hearts, then you might want to figure out how it is that you got to that point in your life. What was it that drove you to that point? Did somebody tell you all women ain't ish and you need to treat them all like this and that's why you are that way? It's not a good look. That's all I'm going to tell you. But in reality, heartbreak changes and transforms a guy, but I don't believe it should put you in a position where you think that all women aren't ish. I do believe, however, that it should train your mind to notice the signs the next time you do get into a relationship. Understand that things could go awry real quick and see how things happen and transpire if you choose the relationship route. See how it happens when shit goes awry, right? You can't just sit there and just blame all women for pro for problems that you may have, right? Or problems that you have with women in the past. That shit just sounds stupid. It truly does. But as a man, I'm gonna tell you straight up, if it was me, like my man said, hey, she could work that shit out with somebody else because yeah, she get drunk again and she can use that as an excuse again. Come on now, player. Come on, player. That, come on, who you talking to like that? Come on, come on. Oh, uh, so so it's, it's okay now every time you get drunk and you let somebody else sleep with you, it's okay now right it's not it's not right because that does seem like a personal problem that she doesn't need to work out like why is it that you seem or desire or want to get blackout drunk every time you go out and utilize that as an excuse for your mistakes or the things or the mistakes that you made every time you get drunk oh it's because i was drunk then you might not need to get drunk anymore you might need to stay off the booze right that is a situation that's probably a whole lot deeper than what's going on in this relationship right because it seems like i'm becoming your not your buffer but i'm becoming your punching bag and i'm the reason or i'm the person that suffers the most every time you go through an episode right so yeah that, that is not a woman that i would ever want to encourage anybody to be with because um i'm gonna tell you right now guys let's be real the young ladies are the ones that get into relationships to fix men. I don't think that a man should get into a relationship with a young lady to fix a young lady because that's not going to happen, right? 
if she broken, she broken, right? See, if she's broken, she's broken. And I want you to understand that if you're willing to put in the time, effort, and energy and have this patience, who knows how long it'll be until she gets fixed, right? Because if she's been with a person that cheated on them or, you know, mistreated them in any way, shape, or form, and you're the one that has to play cleanup guy, I'm going to tell you right now, you're doing yourself a disservice. That's it. All I'm going to tell you, you're doing yourself a disservice. That is not your job. I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody I got to fix, okay? Because I wouldn't get in a relationship with nobody and expect them to fix me. That's not it, right? I got to do my own shit, <laughs> you feel me? But, um, yeah, you can't get emotional, man, if you find out your young lady cheats on you. It sucks. Um, I know it does. I can almost guarantee that it sucks ass. And I hope and pray, knock on wood, that the good duck will never have to deal with anything like that, right? I mean, I'm not going to sit there and act like, you know, See, that's the thing about I think that's where a lot of guys go wrong. They have this thought in their head, oh my God, my young lady would never do that to me. And I kind of feel like you jinx yourself when you start talking that shit. <laughs> right? I kind of feel like you jinx yourself when you believe that every facet of your relationship is perfect or you're in this fucking winter wonderland. I can't believe guys even think like this. But some guys think that their young lady or you got the best dick game in the world and nobody will ever cheat on me just wait until it happens like you're fucking crushed <laughs> you feel me so i would never in my lifetime ever think anything like that right i will just live my life day at a time make sure that i make sure i take care of me and mine make sure i do what i gotta do to make sure that my relationship is solid and that's all i can do right do the best that i can for me all right but if you in this shit and you let your girls go out on girls trips and you know girls night out and stuff like that and you don't know the energy of the young ladies that she's around or how she is when she gets drunk ah, baby boy expect some news i mean i can you know what let me stop because i have to be honest and give props where props is due at least she told him <laughs> I actually I should have started with that. At least she was honest enough to tell him, yo, this happened. It may have been, oh, uh, because I was drunk and da 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 But at least she said something. She could have just took that shit to the grave, right? Because she wasn't, I would feel she would be obligated. But she wasn't really obligated to let my home, my, my, my mans know uh, that she uh, was out there getting a cheese clap uh, on a drunk night. But then again, I'm a little bit confused because how is it that you were drunk, you blanked out, but you remember getting fucked? That's all, I, that kills me, right? That actually kills me, right? How do you remember blanking out, but not blanking out enough to where you let somebody slide? Like, I don't know how that works. So you remember blanking out or you don't remember blanking out? Do you remember what happened or you don't remember what happened, right? Cause you're telling me you remember enough to know that you had sex with another guy, but you blanked out. It's mind blowing, man. Sometimes these young ladies can get mad confusing. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm with, I, I know, I know. I know how ladies are right now. And thank God I was raised by three women. Shout out to my father and my brother. I love them to death. But the majority of my adolescent years um, prior to moving to the Philippines, I was raised by three women. So I kind of have an idea of how women think, how they act, who they are. I can I can really sense when something, something's awry. My spider tent, my spider senses be tingling when I feel something ain't right with something that somebody's saying and they're doing when it comes to young ladies. So I kind of just know how to brace for the impact when it comes, right? And um, that's one thing that I know about me. I think y'all should develop that shit. But that's another story for another day. I can tell you how I developed it, but it don't matter, right? But... Um, luckily, I've been able to transition or tra or take what I've known or developed here in the United States to time spent in the Philippines. And I can honestly say overall, time spent in the Philippines was just awesome. And, you know, I, I'm not going to talk about Marcus's past. They're going to make sure the white ain't around. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we ain't going to talk about Marcus's past like that. But y'all know. I mean, y'all know, man. We, 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 we settled with a good one, so we straight. But, um, you know, you just you got to be careful, man. You got to uh, understand your relationships or... Guess what? Stay single. Just have your fun. Be honest with them straight up. I ain't looking for no relationship. Just want to have some fun. They probably want to have some fun too. And be done. All right? Uh, what do they call it? Friends with benefits. All right? Situationships nowadays. That's what we've graduated to. Situationships. So appreciate y'all locking in, man. Let me know what you guys think about this story. Is my man tripping? Is he on point? Do you believe that uh, he shouldn't look at women like that or look at all women in the same light? Or are you under the assumption that all women are the same? They're all this. They're all going to cheat. Da, da, da. Let me know. 
Email me, MikeThePiagata at gmail.com. Let me um, know if you have any other videos that you want me to cover. But let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section below, man. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's been a good duck. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed, man. Doc is out.